What's this? Oh. I'm scared to put my arm in there. Yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're like, Who's this? What's that hole in the it's wall? Like a little kid. What's that giant glory hole in the wall? Is that just the chimney? Yeah, that would be just the chimney. Uh, somewhere where the like, old furnace would be, because yeah. I think that's where it put the stuff up when we go to the chimney. But the chimney, you can't use it. Oh, you can't. Mm -hmm. It's been. They yeah. built it with wood inside of it. Awesome. It's not up to code. Fair enough. Yeah. Ah! Crap. Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? How you doing? Arrowhead Stadium is electric this Sunday. Garfield? Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you get into my house? I have something pretty interesting to talk about. So I just got a surprise gift and I thought I would share it with you guys. Treasure! I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it's crazy, but you know, not that I need the treasure. This four hours, honestly, I'm not even joking, felt like 30 minutes. Like it was, it burned by pretty fast. Do I look like a real boy, Papa? You will one day, my little wooden boy. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. And I know all of you are probably gonna be so sad and bored when the episode is over and won't have anything else to do. If only there was a fun, relaxing, free to download on iOS and Android game you could play to fill that empty void in your life. Oh wait, there is, and it's Two Dots. I have quite literally been playing Two Dots for the past, I don't even know how many months. Uh, this one's a hard level. I've been stuck on this one for a little bit. I've got one more move. I gotta play again. It has been my go-to game when I'm traveling or bored, or I just feel like I need to challenge my brain a little bit. For those of you who don't know, Two Dots is an awesome mobile game with beautiful minimalistic design, music, and overall vibe. And it's also got really fun, challenging levels. And not to brag, but I'm almost on level 100, okay? So quite literally, get on my level. And what's super cool is I have my own unique treasure hunt hidden in a map within the game that if you play, you can try to find. Or the treasure hunt where you need to complete seven special levels to unlock unique rewards for only a limited time. And my treasure hunt map is so cute. It's designed to look exactly like my office and I just love how it turned out and I think you guys will love it too. So click the link in the description below and download Two Dots today for free and try it out. I'm sure you guys will love it just as much as I do. Now let's get back to the episode. Hey. I'm here with Hunter, a.k.a. Hunter Hancock. That's true. Hunter Hancock, that's which I think is the dopest as, thing ever. As known as, yeah. As known as, mm. otherwise known as Meat Cannon, mm -hmm. Papa Meat. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Your studio is insane. No, I'm glad you um, like it. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And for those of you who don't know, do you want to give a little, sh a little blurb? I do... Uh, <laughs> I make cringe. I don't no, know. it's not cringe. I may. I, I do. I use. I do cartoons. I, people are like, "You retired?" I didn't retire. No, no. I so know. I just want to say that. Yeah. I do cartoons. Yeah. Horror based stuff, comedy, horror stuff, and then I just do anything weird yeah. and horror horrific or whatever on Papa Meat. Yeah, yeah. Just comedy stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, make you've you been laugh. doing like a lot of yeah. comedy stuff on the second channel, mm -hmm. the Papa Meat channel. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I know you like watch stuff on there too, like horror movies and. That's yeah, really cool. just taking anything weird and just, I think it's it's always a, it's comedy and horror are very hand in hand. Oh, yeah. They're both ridiculous. So Absolutely. It's nice, yeah. Absolutely. No, I love it. I love it. But I just, to, I do this because I kind of want to just get to know the mm. person behind everything. So if you're cool with it, what, like, what was your, what was your childhood like? Because you were born, were you born in Kansas City? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri. Small far farming town. It's called a Kearney, which is like okay. 30 minutes outside of Kansas City. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. So d where, did you live on a farm as a kid? I lived, uh, when my parents got separated, I, my mom, we lived on a house on a farm. We okay. didn't do, I don't, I have not done. Any farm no. stuff. Okay. I would never say I'm a, a like a rural <laughs> yeah. like thing, but I did, I was, uh, it was like, we did live on a small like farm yeah. type deal. Okay, there. cool. Yeah. So I know, because I kind of come from that as well. I didn't live like on a farm, but it was like around. Mm -hmm. And like, I didn't have anything really like tech wise or like that. Did you like grow up with that kind of stuff? Because I know you're obviously no, on YouTube no, into that. None, none of it. I mean, like so late to everything. I mean, like, yeah, I didn't have internet until freshman year of college. Internet? Mm -hmm. That's wild. We have like a the shitty like Verizon stick. <gasps> sure. It's like sure. The house the house has a metal roof on it, so it's like you don't really have you have to like put it by like a window. It's like you it's just that kind of shit. But 
all that kind of stuff. Because people think I came from like new grounds and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, but no, I missed oh, that whole wave of stuff. Yeah. It okay. was all of YouTube was pretty much it. Going to friends' yeah. houses and watching like. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I'd be going to friends' houses and watching mm -hmm. it. That's cool. So did you just, what did you do as a kid then? Like, I know there's reading and all that stuff, but you could watch, like, VHS, like, movies. Or, like, yeah, tons of DVDs. Yeah, DV and DVDs. I had the, the disgusting binders oh, of yeah. DVDs. I oh, fucking oh, hate yeah. those. I had so many of those that you flipped through. For each, like, like, 70 pounds. Mm -hmm. Just, like, every office season on DVD. <laughs> and it's just, like, that's, like, 40 discs within itself or whatever yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Dusty yeah. and mildew. Yeah, yeah. drawing, yeah. watching movies mostly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, when did you start drawing? I probably, like... Consciously was like, oh, I like doing this. Probably when I was like, I want to say like six, oh, five shit. or six. Okay, pretty First good. grade. I remember being like, yeah, this is sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Like cartoons specifically or just in Just general? like drawing. I remember like, when I think everybody has a kind of thing when they first start doing art where it's like, usually have a friend who's yeah. into it and then you start doing it. Yeah. So I would draw like, we would draw characters and then have like stats. Cause I remember back then it was like, you had like player guides for like Pokemon. Yeah. You'd be like, He's this strong or whatever. Oh He'd my god, like, so you made your own? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I was just drawing just eyeballs. Draw, just like, yeah, just draw like weird, weird people and being like, he's he can't he, like his powers. Yeah, he can't be killed by fire. <laughs> yeah. But he's afraid of it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's sick. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> In my they are big. They are big creatures. I don't know. Oh, hello, bud. You got my whole damn head, man. Oh, damn. yeah. That's, oh, you're so pretty. This is Kelso. Wow. Kelso. Yeah. Okay, Kelso. Oh, she's almost I don't know how to. I do, oh, okay. She her ears oh, okay. Oh, wow. Seriously, the donkeys are like the best. Very chill. Pretty low maintenance. Oh, extremely. And you have to have a. I, Allison was telling me that we got the donkey too because the uh, horses in here can't really defend themselves a bit. So these things will like stomp out coyotes yeah. and all kinds of shit. That's awesome. So That's she's so she's cool. an aggressive woman. Oh, I love that. Watches over, watches over the the horses. So you went to school here, obviously. Mm. Did you go to public school? Were you yep. a homeschool? Kid? Okay. Yeah, just a small little town, prom king. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> It was, it, was, it was the highlight of my life. It's been downhill <laughs> since then, but <laughs> you were actually prom king. That's yeah, so yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so awesome. There was a graduating class of like how many? Yeah, how many people? Like three hundred and twenty people. So it's not. That's like a it's, lot. Is it? Yeah, that's really impressive. No, oh, the that's town sick. like every town over, I feel like it was always like kids with like seventeen hundred kids on their high school I guess, and shit. Well, yeah, I guess my mine was probably pretty similar. It was like three four hundred people. In yeah, my graduating it felt class. like a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I was there, I was like, yeah. And for them to just be like, this is. A Guy. You. No, you're that's awesome. Did you campaign? Or like how did that work? I don't, I don't think you can. I think you just people just vote. That's awesome. <laughs> That'd be really Dude, weird. Popular. Please let me be prom king. So were you like were you friends with everybody? Like were you super social? Yeah. I'm very I like to think that I'm a pretty uh what is it? Not a introvert. Yeah, I'm an extrovert. extrovert. Yeah. Yeah. So I like talking with everybody. Yeah. I just nerdy guy did that kind of stuff, but then also just like I don't know, I just, I like talking with people. You just get along with everybody. You kind of yeah. have that personality. I was a dick too, at times, yeah. you know? Like a funny dick though? Yeah, like stuff where you, I think at the year I graduated high school, I think I met, or after the first year of college, yeah. I messaged this kid that I was just like overtly mean to. And I was like, <laughs> I just want you to know I'm really sorry for all that. Oh shit. Like, yeah. You were like... He's like, it's okay. <laughs> Which that kind of felt me. He, he probably, he doesn't really sound like that, but it does. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. He's okay. What did you do? Just These like, words? just. Or were you like pushing kids against lockers? No, <laughs> okay. nothing physical. It was just always just like picking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you picking. Poke the bear. You like notice one little thing, and then you just like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, kids are. It. Oh yeah, the yeah, worst. Especially guys. Like you just. It's just fucking... it's uh. Kids are just have no concept of anything. That's all right. There's no real weight or nothing has tr like people are like. Even if something tragically happens to you, you can't really process it till you're out of your kid's no, age, right? No, absolutely. You know you what got I mean? Blinders on. So as a they teenager. can sit there and obviously kids. And there's people who go through things, but I just mean like me. Yeah, I'm not downplaying it. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> some people are like, actually, yeah. I, yeah, 
I was held captive in yeah. a cage, and I'm like, okay, well, you don't count. Yeah, you're sorry. You're not a person. <laughs> yeah, you're a dog. <laughs> now the, uh, I don't know, just shit where it's just like you. I think like something horrible. Like if I had to incriminate myself, it was like finding out that he like lived with his grandparents because he had like this deal with like his parents were in prison or something. <laughs> and I'm like, it's weird that you live with people that are so old. I mean, that's oh. why you smell so old all the time. It's just dumb <laughs> kid it's, shit. Yeah, where you it's just know. like they probably didn't realize that, like his dad like, like murdered his mom <laughs> or something like that. You're just like, you're so weird yeah. that like, you live with your grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking God, that's So funny. old, that's why your clothes look so f***ing stupid. Yeah. That why do you wear shit? the same shirt every day? They just yeah, exactly. can't afford any clothes. Yeah, literally, you say we wear the same Yu-Gi-Oh shirt since third grade, dude. It's gross. <laughs> Kids are dumb. Yeah, why don't you grow? Any better. You're I so would... tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little he's weasel. He's malnourished. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, ah. yeah, has it, has it, it's been a caloric Doesn't deficit even... for f***ing <laughs> 17 years. <Poor> kid. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Literally. You would never guess that by, I would never guess that by talking to you now that you were like a bully of any kind. Oh, yeah. So I, that's all right. Because how I've old are grown. you now? I'm 43. 43. Damn, you look good. Thank you. You look really good. I'm Thank 35. You. So wow. I think we look, I think we look pretty good. And Caleb's 16? He's uh, 18. 18. Less, makes well, me less, well, on, less on, cr- ca- on camera, we'll say 18. 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18. Might be 43. He was, gu- he was gushing to me about getting his driver's license, so. Really? No. <laughs> he said, no. just turned 16. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> I don't know why I believed you for a second. Yeah, I, was I was like, like he's been driving for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you went to school. You did drawing, I did, and then you went to university or college. Yeah, is it? Is it? You guys have universities down here. We call it university in Canada. No, is it's it college. It's here? college. Yeah. Okay. So you went to here. For I went to yeah, Kansas City Arts too. Okay, cool. And that's where you met your wife. Mm-hmm. That's cool. We lived on the same dorm floor freshman oh, year. Oh shit, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That would happen. <laughs> that would be awesome, but no, yeah, no. <laughs> you just. I was. I was kind of the guy who was like, hey. Really. Yeah, she was dating somebody else at the time. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're a gentleman. You waited. Yeah. That's nice. I pestered her. Did you? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, she probably would say, yeah. <laughs> I remember being like, so I think funny. I think like literally two days after she broke up with her. <laughs> or she got she got broken up with. Oh, so she was just and like, I was like a you want to go on a date? And she's like, baby bird. no. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I was like, no problem. That's fine. <laughs> Bitch. I'll, no come back. <laughs> I'll come back in a week. Yeah, you exactly. Again. Every, every three yes. minutes. Yeah. So. <laughs> How yeah. about now? I make, I make uh, cringe and she makes art. Yeah. He just has better business sense and also he's more, he has like a better personality for like YouTube. Online stuff. I'm trying to be better about it, but it's just, it's harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I get it. You gotta like, you like it's being different, but then staying yourself at the same time. Yeah. It's like how much do you give? It's also like a learned skill and I'm just like, I yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, you gotta love it. That's for sure. What the yeah, hell is it? a wire, so that's my toad. <gasps> I love trouble. toads. Trouble. Oh one. my God. Now she's all defensive. She's like, what do you want? Come here. Oh my, oh, wait. What kind of toad is this? Uh, just an Eastern American toad. Caleb loves toads. I'm just gonna take a picture real quick. She's so puffed up. She's so bad. She's pissed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I kind of want to touch her anyway. Dude. What's funny is she's wow. never. You know how they usually pee on you when they're yeah. pissed? She's never done that. Really? She's I think toads and frogs are so safe. All day. It's really funny. <laughs> she like goes under the dirt and she's just like, <laughs> don't leave me alone. <laughs> I've had her for like. Four or five years now. Okay. How long do they live? Like ten. Infinitely, in theory. (laughs) What? (laughs) Like in captivity, they've lived to be like thirty or forty or more. What? They usually like the thing is, is they usually die from something that's not related. That's right. Yeah. It's just like they don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Just recently found out they eat each other sometimes. Oh yeah. They. I didn't know that. (laughs) Kelso is the one that he's mugging me. Yeah. He knows tricks though. Oh, he really? Does. Yeah. <gasps> smile. Oh my god. Oh, wow. She, she kind of knows it. Can you yeah, smile? She, she's like, smile. 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 like, hi, Anybody else pet me. You? Yeah, that's awesome. They, they, kick a lot. they don't, but I also just tell people not to risk it. Yes. Yeah. That's fair. So you were in school for drawing, and then did you immediately go into YouTube? Or did you? No, uh uh-uh. Did you? So how, is, how did that transition happen? <laughs> I graduated college, and I, I think I had like $700 to my name, and I. I knew of some people in LA because I wanted to just work in animation mm-hmm. at like uh, studios that did stuff for like Adult Swim, like Titmouse or um, 
uh, who God, Shadow Machine mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Yep. And my whole thing was I had an aunt that lived near San Diego, Carlsbad. Okay. And Carlsbad is like probably like a three and a half hour drive to LA. So okay. I was like, I'll stay with her for a bit. And I just lied to people and I was like, hey, I just moved into town. I'd love to grab a drink to animators, trying to find the way in. Oh, God, yeah. And like, it just like didn't happen. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's LA for you. And I, uh, I got like, she, I got like kicked out of the, because it's a retirement community. You okay. can't just stay there. You know right. what I mean? So I had to go and I was homeless for a bit in Carlsbad and I was just commuting from that and I was sleeping yeah. in like the Walmart. Are you serious? Parking line. Yeah, yeah. Like in your, your car? Yeah, Dodge Caliber. Dude, what? And I was doing an animation test. The Dodge Caliber was sick because it had a 12 volt battery plug in. Okay. So you could, I could take a power strip oh and plug God. into the deal and I'd plug my lap, my, my Cintiq in and I'd be doing these things in my car. But I just kept getting all these loitering tickets. Oh my God. And shit. So I just went and absolutely broke and yeah. then I moved back to Kansas City and I worked at Hallmark Cards um, in their like warehouse packing boxes. Oh my god! So not even Hallmark? But no, Hallmark. not even like an art thing. No, it was just me packing boxes and I was like this is epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you at this time then? I was probably 20, 22 okay. or yeah. something yeah. Along, along those lines and then I moved back or no, I was 23 because okay. it would have been I was did the I did the Carlsbad thing for I think like at least uh, probably like a year. Yeah. Or doing okay. that. Yeah, yeah. And I worked at, when I was in Carlsbad, I just worked at like, I think, I think Walmart still had the photo center. Yeah. And I did, oh, I, was, yeah. I was pouring concrete. That was the big thing. That was, that was crazy. But anyway, they uh, um, moved back to Kansas City to do that. And then yeah. one of my one of my buddies that I met in, when, on my trips driving up to LA, yeah. was like, hey, they're moving me up to the Vancouver branch, the Titmouse Vancouver oh, branch. Shit, okay. And he's like, there's a spot open on this thing for this gig I got hit up for, do you want it? They're like, are they there? Want to like meet you? Are you still living in Burbank? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, of course. Lying, of course. And then uh, flew out, did the interview. They're like, can you start on a Monday? It was like, I think it was a Thursday. I was like, sure. And I think I just got like a loan and just went out there and got a spot. Holy shit. Went for my first paycheck and then got an apartment. You had an apartment in Canada? Burbank. Oh, oh, Burbank. Okay. Yeah, but he the, moved up to Canada. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. Okay, so the okay. position was open because he was like, I'm not going to be in LA. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you got the position there. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So then just if I, if I'm, I guess I'll just tell you the journey to like yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but, please, yeah. So that was like 2017. Okay. And then I, after that gig, I just couldn't find working because people don't know that when you're like an animator in LA, it isn't like, uh, oh, I'm working for Netflix. That's my salary. Yes. It's, it, it's a contract. So like a contract is like, a show usually takes like six months. So you'll get like a three month contract because three months right. of that's going to be animation. Yeah. And then you kind of have to just like find another show. Right. Or whatever. Right. And I just couldn't break through again to find another thing. Yep. Went broke. Yeah. My wife, my then girlfriend, now wife, yep. helped me break my lease. And I was like, if I go back to Kansas City, I'm going to gouge my eyes out. Yeah. I feel like a total f failure. Yeah. Then you'd be going back twice. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, and I think I called my buddy up who I worked with before and he was living in Utah. And I was like, is there anything going on there? He's like, yeah. there's tons of solar jobs. So I just moved up to he moved around Orem, Utah, which Holy is like shit. about 20 minutes outside of Salt Lake. Okay. Um, I worked at Vivint Solar. <laughs> I'm I'm saying these things specifically too because I bet someone's like, I've heard of that yeah. or whatever. But, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for but sure. The, uh, just that one guy from Utah, yeah. they're like, yeah. It was a, just a little call center <laughs> thing. Sick. Call center job for a while. Okay. And then I got, uh, I lived there for like, probably like 11 months. Okay. And then I was posting like cartoons on my Instagram still. And I got an opportunity to work for this uh, studio in New York on a Facebook watch show. Oh. That's not a thing anymore. No, It was no. Facebook's version of Netflix. Right. But I moved to Bushwick, Brooklyn, and I worked up out there for like eight, like six, six or eight months. Mm -hmm. And by that time too, my wife had gotten a design job for Nike in Portland. Oh, sick! Oh, so wow! She was, so she was opposite, doing great. Yeah. Opposite sides, but yeah, wait, we were just long virtual? distance, whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just trying to figure shit out. Yeah. But after the Brooklyn gig, six months, I moved to Portland, and then Allison was like, I "This sucks." Yeah. It's, I mean, like it's cool, like. I don't know. Those kind of jobs are good, I think, for people who are like, if you went to art for like, if you went to like art school and you went to, I don't know, I always just don't want to be presumptuous. Like if no. somebody went to like a state university and yeah, they're like, yeah. I want to work at Nike, yeah, you'd probably be happy with it. But I think right. just it's a big corporation thing. and Yeah, just, you want more freedom. You're just a cog in a big machine. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. No voice, but. Yeah. So 
I was doing, uh, I worked for a county auto body shop. Okay. For, you got uh, a lot of jobs. I know. That's I did awesome. a lot of weird shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A county auto body shop where like cops brought their cars in or like, like ice trucks and all that kind of shit. Yeah. Um, but after she was done with her gig, she was like, this place, Portland's just insanely expensive to oh, live yeah. in too. Yeah. I so know. after we were done with that, I was like, let's just move back to Kansas City because it's way cheaper to live out here. So yeah. I moved out here and I posted a cartoon on YouTube one day and woke yeah. up like two weeks later and I had like, I gained like 30,000 subs. Shit. So it just started there. So it was just your first cartoon that went out. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming you did all the animation and voice. Oh yeah. Everything. Yep. everything. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time you did, like you just didn't think anything of it. You just posted it. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, up until that point too, everybody was like animation's dead on YouTube. For sure. You know, and the, no so point. was anything else you were posting? Because you said you were posting on Facebook, Instagram. Just mm -hmm. Instagram. So mm -hmm. was that going viral at all? Or was it just pretty? It, I think I had like 4,000 followers. Okay. But to me, I was like, that's awesome. Uh, I was, yeah. I was like, that's uh it was all the justification I needed to just do stuff. And then also it yeah. was just like weird parameters of like, even the video that popped off on my YouTube channel yeah. was, it's like 60 seconds long just because that's what the cap was back then. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. So it was just doing that kind of stuff. It was easy and it was just stuff I was doing in my free time. I'd get off work and just do that because, yeah. yeah, that's all I really wanted to do. At how, the time. Like for the first one, how long did that take for you to make? Just out of curiosity. I think eight days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. They're yeah. all very, I mean, especially the old ones, dude. Like, I mean, the stuff I, I make think now I is insane. I saw that one. What, what was it about again? Was it's a that... Pinocchio one. I think it's still the most viewed video on my channel. Puppet boy's life. He's evil. He's nothing but pure evil. Jesus Christ, Lord of mercy on my soul. Please save me. The first me. one? Mm. Holy shit. That was your, oh, that, that was really good. That was the first one that popped off, whatever. But it's yeah, so yeah. simple. The characters aren't moving. And that became like a big thing too, because I was just really inspired by like, early Adult Swim stuff of like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah. It's not so much about like the fluid animation, it's just about no. seeing these characters talk. Absolutely. So, and that yeah. became a lot more accessible. And I was able just to do like stupid shit like yeah. that. So not really worrying about like, cause I'm not, I'm in no way the best animator ever. I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm a competent one, but I just know how to yes, do the, uh, well, I hire a lot of people that are good at animating, but the, but, uh, I just like doing the jokes. I just like making stuff and sending it to my friends was basically the thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Because you, you, you write everything mm -hmm. then yourself. Do you hire out for writers as well, or is it? I've done it a couple animators? times, like yeah. like once or twice. Yeah, especially if somebody has a cool concept, I'll we'll I'll pay them and we'll collaborate on it. But cool. it's it's mostly just for time sakes. It's usually me. Yeah, because you know where it needs to go and that kind of thing. Yeah, too. writing's also hard because it's uh, you have to have a creative partner you really trust. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, I can't even imagine, yeah, like outsourcing that, especially for smaller projects. Not that it's small, but just um, more compact, like time -wise. Narrative based projects Narrative -based are very, product yeah, projects. very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. But you enjoy it though, right? Yeah. Like the writing aspect. Yeah, of it. yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's uh, something you get to flex on, you get to uh, grow yeah. be better with. Like I look, a lot of the early stuff, you, you, uh, you look back on it now and you're just like, God, this sucks. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't well, want to that's with, that's, with, that's with anybody, though. 100%. I don't know. Explain what we're doing. This is Dan. Yeah. He's gonna teach yeah. us how to make cocktails. Yeah. A, a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Yeah, and I'm I don't know anything. I about am not I'm not a big cocktail player, but I do love drinking. And I haven't drank in a very long time, so this is gonna be pretty lit. <laughs> I'm a bartender, so help you I drink all out. the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now Dan, what, what exactly is the first cocktail we're doing here? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a raspberry lemonade. Oh. Very simple. That's okay. like three ingredients. You shake it, you pour it, you drink it. So let's get our shaker tin. Yeah, this will be a vodka based cocktail. Okay. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half. It, I it, it came there's in a, there's, there's a little, it, there's a little, it came in here. wet. I oh, I see. Pouring the uh, the ounce in the uh, shaker tin chef. <laughs> Okay. Is there any kind of like uh, fun? It's not. That is fun. Is, is there anything that like I can do where I'm just like this? You know, like Bob Ross, whenever he's done, he like yeah. he like does something. He, like, like, he goes like. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway. Do, so we're gonna move on to oh. the simple syrup. Guess not. We're gonna <laughs> use a little side, and there's a line for three quarter ounce. Yeah. Pouring in, chef. Uh, I also just want to say I am absolutely disgusted by your shirt. <laughs> what do you mean? Tab out. Jeez. I know it's too, but I wasn't gonna say anything. What do you mean? I mean, it's um, I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. It's like out. It's kind of <laughs> the color of it. Oh, she got excited there, huh? Oh, did you know. shake it? Dude, are, you, are you supposed to shake it? It's Chef, I am pouring in. Oh, God, this is... 
I don't like its vibe. Now, Dan, when does the strawberry get introduced? Yeah. It's is there raspberry? Strawberry? Or raspberry? Uh, Sorry. I need to go get it for my car because I forgot it. <laughs> Do you post anything and you're like, I'm really proud of that? Have you have you posted a video and you're like, I'm... Mm. And just continue to be proud of it? Very rarely. I yeah. think the only thing that I ever posted where I was like, this is... I really like this was the... I did this like Bob the Builder thing, but it was all um, based around like a yokai, like Japanese yokai. I watched that one. It's yeah. sick. But it was all in Japanese, and I just thought it was yeah. cool. Atome, yeah. yeah, so you obviously got voice actors mm -hmm. for that. So you, you weren't voicing in any of mm -hmm. that then, no. No. Nope. Didn't learn Japanese for that. No, part. didn't learn Japanese for <laughs> That's that. That's fair. Because yeah, it felt really authentic. Fucking, I'm like, is he in this? Yeah, that, that'd be this insane. No, my, my white trash ass would be like, <laughs> yeah, a Romy Co. Yeah. or something like that. Well, did you think of that? Like when I watched that, I was like, how the f***? Because I appreciate the creativity, but how mm. did that idea come out? I was just reading a lot of stuff about yokai stuff. And okay. at, that, at that point too, I think with like the way I was approaching at least the Meat Can channel was just the parody stuff is obviously what people like. So it's taking an IP, but it's always just like, you can't just like put a dark twist on something. It's like, it that just makes it feel... Um, Generic. I think at face mm -hmm. value, a lot of people can look at. If if there's anybody who's like, oh, all of this stuff's the same. Yeah. I can see how that criticism would go, but the um, I think to me, it was just thinking like, if you had Bob the Builder be a Japanese yokai, which yeah. the interesting thing about yokais in Japanese culture is uh, they are like, they're like uh, omens, like bad omens right. and stuff. Like they're trying to teach kids like lessons. life lessons. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So. The whole thing with him was being like a yokai that is coming and punishing somebody for not taking care of their home. I know. Yeah, I can't remember what the line was in it. It was like, what was the line, the last line that he said to him, like in his ear? It was really good. I don't know. Oh, if you it's remember. something it's I like, can't remember. If you can't take care of your home. You yeah, if you can't can't take care of your. It was deep as. I was like, oh shit. Ie o daiji ni deki na kireba, kazoku o daiji ni deki ru daro ka. How much of this, Chef? We'll be doing... Did you shake it? Three chef? quarter ounce. Do we shake it? No. I don't know. Don't. You said to shake the last one. <laughs> three quarter. Oh, same. Oh, okay. This three is quarter, just, Chef. This is so easy. How much time should I put do it? it? I don't know. Why not? All right. Well, I'm going to guess what that is. Okay. And... How do you put this on? <laughs> no, you put it on. Yeah. It. Why is yours fitting? Mine's not fitting. Is this a, is this a cartoon, dude? What, what is happening? <laughs> Look at that. Anyway. You shake yours. Look at this. Here, look, seriously, you try to put that on. Look at no, that. I know. They'll never go together because they're exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Wait. Like a gentleman? Can I put this down like that? Don't do that no. How do you get it off? I got yeah, it. You yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, have you seen that in a movie or a show? They slap it? Yeah, I did. Strainer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks great. I like how much your hand is shaking. Yeah, we have to strain it. Strain it right there, yep. What the fuck are you guys doing? Oh! No. Oh, I don't oh, shit. know. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> that is I know. <laughs> what? I'm, like, I'm, 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 like, I'm like this. I did this. I'm like digging for gold. Okay. No, so this is this is how you hold it, like that. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I see this. Okay, watch this height. I don't know about like, the color of this, Dan. This looks shitty. Oh, you see this, Hunter? You see that? Oh, shit, I missed. Don't look. Never mind. <laughs> Not the table. You floor. missed. I didn't. <laughs> are, are, are colors similar? Uh, You're, yeah, yeah, I think it was usually exactly. garnishes with the a same. lemon wheel. Oh. Now, would you rub the lemon over the rim of it Ooh. and then yeah, just like smack the yeah. shit out of it like that? Can you <laughs> and it goes in my yeah. eye. I'm like, put some, oh, yeah. some sugar. Yeah. So this was like a pretty simple cocktail. If you did all that like pretentious shit, you might look like an asshole. <laughs> what is this called again? Uh, uh, raspberry lemonade. You can't do it wrong. It's art. Are you putting sugar on the rim too? God damn. <laughs> the seeds do not make that look. Yeah. I took mine out. Cheers. Anyway. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's great. Mm. Okay. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. We did such a good job. And you're like an okay teacher. I think, the, I think the seeds actually added a lot to mine. Yeah, it's the mouth yeah. feel for me. This is what I'm gonna do. Take off your lemon and then Dan, turn around. Okay. I guess, yeah, we'll just, um. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, Dan. Okay, go. Mm. They're made of the same So this has a lot of pulp on it. <laughs> so I'm guessing that one's yours, Hunter. No. I did the rim thing too. Yeah, but not as, you know, ham-fistedly. <laughs> you say not as ham-fistedly? That's nice. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> <There> go. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how 
You made that one sweeter? It was the exact same. Because I shook some stuff before he did. Maybe that's why. Is that bad or negative thing, Shay? Is that one yours? That one is mine. Oh, okay. Just like Which one would you serve at a bar? What's <laughs> the right one? This would be good one? for a bar. Okay. And this one would be good for like a backyard barbecue. Mm. Ooh. Which is, wh wh which do you choose then? Oh, that one. Sorry. There's two more drinks to go, okay? Um, I feel good about being a winner. I'd like to thank my alcoholic father. For <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to dad. I, I can see where you draw inspiration from, and that's mm. really cool. Like, I'm assuming, um, I think it's impossible not to, because you watch, like, so much horror, and I'm assuming animation and that kind of thing, where you, like, like take certain tidbits and kind of apply them, or, like, like how the, what is it called, yokai? Mm. Um, like, taking that and using that. Like, do you, do you draw from other things a lot? Oh, all the time. Yeah. It's impossible not to. I mm -hmm. think it's just what motivates you, what moves you and stuff. And yeah, absolutely. I think especially seeing stuff of just like pushing yourself. I think that like, I really took a stance of like trying to do like, what's interesting is a lot of times I don't write comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that it's inherently funny to people because it's very uncomfortable or it's like, yes. they don't know how to process it, which I don't know if that's, um, <laughs> I don't know if that's a positive, positive thing or not, but I think that like, it's inherently goofy, but it's like, Trying to be as straight as you can, like as uh, take it as serious as you can. Yeah, because no, if you it's treat like it goofy comedy. and you do that stuff, I think that loses a lot of the weight and stuff. Absolutely, no, you have like meaning behind your stuff. Like, there's always that hidden meaning. I don't know if there's always that, but it, how I, I interpret try to. it, I think it's more satisfying that yeah, way. Yeah, there's always something involved in it. Like even like the the Taylor Swift one, which I love, mm. it's so good. When they all started um, chanting like for her or with mm -hmm. her. It reminded me of like Midsummer and Slither. Totally. Like yeah. when they're when the the weird uh, I can't remember. The the main guy or whatever when they're all talking for mm -hmm. him in his body. So yeah, especially like, uh, Midsummer when And Midsummer. They're uh like crying they're like, with yeah, her. Yeah, crying with her and stuff. Yeah, yeah definitely. Cuz it's fucking cult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's crazy. And that whole thing was crazy too. Yeah. I to talk about that. Yeah. But I, you handled it with grace. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 just interesting. It's funny. To, I like really doing the videos where it's people are like, um, you have like a title like Taylor Swift breaks up, whatever. Yeah. And the whole thing you think is going to be something clowning on her. Yeah. But really, it's I love the redirection of being like uh, her fans speaking for her and that kind of thing. And yeah. Do that thing. And also, it's just fun too to be like she's an eldritch god because she's a god she's, amongst she's men and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It's it's so. it is it's society. Mm. It, it, it spoke more to society than her herself. Yeah. And the song was you write the song mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah my buddy or my <laughs> so the guy great. who does my uh <laughs> mixes my audio and stuff helped make it and really stuff. yeah but we do you I, write? I, I, I sang it yeah it's okay, awesome do you sing in general or I, just... I, I like to sing i don't yeah. i wouldn't say i'm a singer though okay okay yeah okay. yeah because that was really good thank you that's yeah. really, really good but yeah no that's crazy Mambas? Like no, mamba. those are very dangerous. Venomous, yeah. No venomous snakes. That'd be Die. so funny. That'd be way bit. more cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you get off your phone, so because we, we're like rolling here and it's a lot of you know. Stuff. I'm gonna check on my snakes again. A lot of. Fun. I thought you were gonna say I have to check my snakes. You like yeah, there's like a live feed. <laughs> yeah, like a baby. Uh, I've got 1,500 followers. So. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Yeah, is it actually called Snakestagram? No, it's called Colorfully Vulgar. Of course it is. <laughs> what the f colorfully. <laughs> Well, I, what the I don't need any more of your critiques today. <laughs> it's a okay. terrible business thing. It says nothing about snakes. <laughs> Colorfully. <laughs> <laughs> Colorfully vulgar. What is that? <laughs> yeah, you wear one of the shirt. A, sh so a shirt. Funny. A shirt to your business. It's like, oh, that's cool. Is that like a wrestling campaign for autistic children? And you're like, no, actually, it's my snake breeding. It's, like, it's just in Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Comic Sans. There's three, there's three different colored balloons. <laughs> Clip art balloons going up colorfully more. What? So we're making a Manhattan right now, or what are we making? Yeah, what the f <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do old fashions. So we're gonna start with some rye whiskey. Okay. And we're gonna put two ounces into your mixing glasses. Uh, two ounces. Two ounces. So it's gonna be two full. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Wait, one full. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two, two of these right? One of the big ones. Or just one of the big ones. This is two ounces right here? Yeah. Okay. All the way to the tippity top. Tippity top? Oh my gosh, it looks it like Nicki Minaj. No, she's just, you know, pour it, uh, like get Wait, wait, wait. Did you go all the way to the top top? No. All the way to the top. How the, the tippity top? What? You, he, said, he did say so top. So you I put an ounce it. and a half, so put half an ounce, which might be the bottom. Hey, dude, I, have, I did math for you, okay? You said 
tippity top. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he did, all he the did way to all the way to the top. You said that I last said the time, top. and then and then and then I went to the top, and you're like, well, no, he no, said, no, no. He said, t actually, no, no, no. to be fair, last time he said top of the line. I also said ounce and a half, and this time I said. Why two are you defending ounces. him now? <laughs> <laughs> My carpet. That's so funny. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, three dashes of orange bitters. Okay, dash, dash, dash. That's too much. <gasps> I would have five that. dashes of Angostura bitters. That's the good. Oh my god! I like, will say. You're like a well, 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 okay, dude. Well, first off, it comes out a lot. Uh, more, yeah, it comes out messy. You got yours too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little dribbly. That came out real dribbly. People that coming at me, dude. Got it's, it's the tip. bottle. It's got it's a loose tip. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Little side. Yeah, I know hey, that now. I don't know. Thought we were coloring with crayons. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Anybody do I get white? A quarter? quarter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was I say? Not quite a half. You think it's like a quarter? Like halfway to the no, quarter, to the half line. line? No, sorry. There's no line. I mean, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? Just do it at your own. We gotta guess. Yeah. And then, so I know you started out doing it all yourself. So when did you start to branch out and get help? Because I know that's. I, f I have found it as a creator, not that I do anything to your caliber, mm. but that, that's that been the hardest part for me is like giving jobs to other people. When well, you're that in do you such mean a instilling like trust in those other yeah, people? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Delegating and stuff. I think um, at first I thought that it was, I don't think I ever found, found it hard to give that. I think that I really, with at least with animation, it might be mm. a, a bit more straightforward. I love working with artists that are just way more talented than me. Sure. I learn a lot and I think that it makes whatever you're doing better. So to me, as soon as like any kind of money started coming in, it was just being like, how do I have like one extra guy come in and be like, can you just animate this part? Yeah. And it looks so much better. So to me, it was, that's the other thing too, is like, it's with any kind of creator and stuff, you have to find some kind of like evolutionary step in your process. And to me, it was always just like, how do you just make it look a little better? It doesn't need to like yep. be the most extravagant thing because mm -hmm. we're still, we still have a, a deadline we're trying to hit, but for sure. how do you learn from people? How do you, how can you also, uh, you know, be, take on more of a directorial writer standpoint yeah. and just tell people like, this is what we're wanting to do and yeah. execute it in a fun way Yeah, has become really satisfying. But I mean, it was really quick. I mean, like tried to make it as quick as I could. Yeah. Yeah. Cause how, how long does it take to pump out? Like from, I know you have, you're not doing it right now, but when you were doing it most recently, like how long would it take? We would do, we would try to do every two to three weeks. Damn. Which is Holy like, shit. yeah, pretty crazy. Especially with some of them when it's like, like 3d and like, or like yeah. the 2d mm -hmm. on top. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. That's yeah. wild. And then how often were, are you putting them out? Like every two to three weeks? Yeah. Are you putting mm -hmm. them out? So That's animation crazy. would be, I think animation would be 10 days. And then we would have, if it was on a two week cycle, it'd be yeah. animations 10 days. And then we would do a uh, comp on a day and you'd do the audio mixing the last day before oh, you had shit. to upload. So it was just that. And you'd have like a day to write something or like be like, yeah. what do I want to make? So, and you're doing most of the writing. All so do you just mm -hmm. have like a day where you do that or do you just like block No, out? I mean, I wish. That'd be awesome. I know. It's, it's never that convenient. No, it's like, it's it, like it a, has to happen. It's just something where it's, you're just kind of like sitting there yeah. and a, a thought comes in. You have like maybe a bunch of little blurbs up and then it's just mm -hmm. kind of like thinking about something and then it's almost always whenever I'm like driving, I'll mm -hmm. think of an idea and then I'll just like take out my phone and do that and then you know, you get, you get an interesting idea and be like, well, why is that interesting yeah. and stuff? What is... What's something, and then it became a lot easier. Doing videos on creators are very easy. Sure, yeah, they're there. You can draw off that and and you like can draw if you have, it or you have expand a, on uh, it. A criticism or yeah. something. Like when I did the XQC thing, it yeah. was just like it's easy to make parables and stuff, or it's easy to make uh, parallels with uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, and, and and find like I know that this is like what I'm trying to say with this thing. Yeah. And then how do we just get there in a fun way? Yeah, exactly. It becomes a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. But that's why I like I love I love those parodies that you do. Mm. But then I also like I, I can because I don't again, I don't write anything like as close to he does. I just do like sketch comedy and that kind of thing. That's just But as, I appreciate yeah. I like for me I think of like just one little thing and then just build around it mm. for like an original thing. Yeah. So I love your original stuff. Because I know how much goes into that, like, mm. and not even creating it, like, animation-wise. Like, the Melvin stuff, mm. I think is so Oh, cool. thanks. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So did you think of just the one character to start with, and then you just branched off of that? Or was it, For like, the Melvin whole... thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think that I was, I was watching a lot of, or I was reading a lot of, like, uh, this old Japanese horror uh, mangaka mm -hmm. called, uh, his name's Hideshi Hino. 
and I was just really appreciative of his designs and stuff and how simple things were. So it kind of became something where the I feel like the design came first, and then it was um, I was just I feel like the past like three years I've had just like a very unhealthy relationship with the content making process and yeah. stuff and very like angry with it in a lot of ways when it's it's frustrating because it's only your fault too and it is like a you know oh woe is me but it's never that mm. but it's just it's a it's i would never project it as like look how pitiful i am but no. more so just the frustration with you're given this like really great gift and i feel very bad that i feel so negatively towards it yeah um, oh, i get that so this was supposed to be something where it's 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 the it, i just wanted to have something that felt like it could reflect that in a fun way yeah. of uh this character who is very like kind of meek and small and whatever and then he just blows up and he's like yeah. very real and expresses himself in these more um abstract like kind of dumb, like angry mm -hmm. evil ways or whatever i thought could be fun so that, yeah. that's just kind of where that started but then it's just it's easy because then it's just little you know little things it's fun yeah. though it's like um it, it it's i like putting just like little yeah i don't know like life lessons i guess yeah. and stuff yeah, it's the yeah, best absolutely. thing. I love folk tales and that kind of stuff. It's absolutely. very fun. Yeah. Yeah. I I can't remember which one I want. I think it was the one where he had the dead like lobster or whatever with all the what was that one called again? With, oh, the like, nostalgia the, one. The nostalgia yeah, one. Yeah, his hermit crab died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, holy shit! I feel like there's a lot of different things that you put in there, like I uh, lesson was, wise or I was watching a or on my YouTube feed, just like a bunch of like retro video game people were popping up. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was like, like a big thing. Guys. And what felt weird was I have these kind of conversations with myself and I don't, it's never like, am I right or wrong? It's mm -hmm. just kind of an interesting thing of like, is it healthy to like be so fascinated with cons like buying and consuming product mm -hmm. from your past and yeah. being like, I'm just so fixated. Like, this is what I love. Because there's something where it's like, I think that there you can collect things and it's fine, but to me it feels like people that are, they only derive happiness out of like, I miss when I felt like when I was yeah, this old. they're grasping at the past yeah. just like in so a sad way. With, with that, I want to just make a thing where it was like, I feel like you can get, I guess, lost in that pursuit. Like if you never make any new memories or you don't ever do anything, That's I think the that thing. it's stagnation. And so, I know so many people mm. like that, especially from like my hometown. So I watched it and I was like, holy shit. Like this is I feel, I feel like, it myself too. I think it's, it's, just sure. an, it's an escape. Yeah, it, it you're is. trying to escape, yeah. It is. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. I mean, there's some people have alcohol, some people have, yeah, exactly. have hoarding or... Whatever vice you have to escape any kind of real world things and not have to, like, face come face to face with shit is, like, I think everybody has it. But it's just, yeah, it's just a thing of, uh, yeah, you just have to, you have to go through the, sh the, the shittier yeah, times Yeah, you and gotta things. live yeah. in, in, in the moment, for yeah. sure. But yeah, no, there's, like, a lot of masking and stuff, so I mm. love that shit. I just love, like inner meetings of stuff like, mm. yeah, like people think that it's just cartoons for people that haven't watched um but it's just it's so much more wrapped into that yeah and it's a it's, it's awesome. a it's a delicate dance too of like yeah. it's, it's just when you do online stuff there's i have a lot of respect for people who like only post like once a year oh yeah i would have so much anxiety because i'm just thinking about like the bills i have and all that kind of stuff yeah. and and it's weird too. I think there's a lot of like egotistical stuff of like wanting to the channel to be bigger and doing all this stuff. But yeah. I, uh, it's from like it, there's when you do go into this thing, there's so much like business that goes with it. And naturally. So, so it's like, uh, it. how do you, how do you like split your creative process in half and be like, this makes sense. So a lot of the time, you know, I do a lot of like grotesque mm -hmm. characters of people, mm -hmm. um, and it's just. It, it's it's fun to draw yeah, first off, but absolutely. then also it's just it's a very easy to be like I know that thing and that looks weird and different. Yep. So on a surface level, you get viewers coming in just being like, "This is funny." Yeah, absolutely. His, he looks weird. Yeah, right. I get that. <laughs> yeah, sure. I can see how people are it's just for like, different God, people. Hack. Yeah, you some know, people look deep into it, and some people just see the surface. Yeah, so it's like, how do you present that kind of? How do you present your? Um, your videos in that way yeah. where it's like if someone's never going to watch anything you ever make again can you at least have them be entertained on the surface level absolutely you yeah it's I mean? going to impact somebody yeah. in some way because mm -hmm. it is shocking yeah like it's shocking content just even yeah i don't even know like i what i care i think it was the pinocchio one or was no it was the one i just watched the nostalgia one where like they're smiling and i just for some reason noticed that there was like 200 teeth a lot of teeth i like doing mouth, tiny teeth and i thought it was awesome yeah very, <laughs> it reminded very me of like attack on titan kind of like that like yeah just like oh, jesus i like a lot of gum and tiny teeth yeah that's fun it's creepy mm -hmm. it's super creepy but it's, it's disgusting just like, 
It, yeah. Anytime I see someone, I see someone smiling, have too much gum. I'm just like, you're disgusting. <laughs> Fix the smile. Everybody watching with too much yeah, so, gum. Yeah, someone's like looking at their screen <laughs> and their like, power turns off and they see the reflection on their screen and they're just uh, like. <laughs> he was right. And they're like lip unveils back down like a curtain and covers their big ass gums. Yeah. <laughs> you're beautiful. It's all right. But also. Fix it up. It's. <laughs> It's all right. We all got faults. We all got faults. Got too much gum. You got to fix it up, dude. It's all right. Hey, man. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. What next? Uh, so let's put some ice in there. How much ice? Uh, you know. <laughs> no. More than that. Get this <laughs> top out of here. Jesus Christ, dude. What? You can't cover it? Look at that. Well, look. She has gross ass hands. She's been petting all kinds of farm animals. Probably want to wash her hands once. And then look how much ice went back in that she touched. Look how much ice went back. At I, least I, I, I just washed my hands before this because I went to the washroom. Fake news. The what? <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> not, not like them, but. Oh, I'm just like, just, yo, just keep back, her back up. <laughs> she knows how to do it more. I that's am fair. like, I just watch the stuff. <laughs> the donkey's more my speed. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Nope. No. See, how, see how stupid see? that is? See? Why? Wait, wait, watch me, watch me, watch me. Horrible. That was better, actually. <laughs> how was that better? Because that's how your steward stirred green. Don't touch my spoon. Tell me. Your goal is to keep the back of the spoon on the outside that's what of I'm the doing. glass. That's See, what I was doing. Hunter it's was on the wrist. Me dumb before. It's on the wrist. <laughs> Dan, my wrist is moving, but the spoon not moving. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Sure. Too much. Why not? To be honest. All right. Where's our strainers? Oh, oh, oh! That fits nicely. It's you had to put ice in it first. Just like it was designed. To it's do crazy. It. I kind of feel like I'm on True Detective or something like that. Yeah. I keep seeing all these women getting brutally murdered. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, Wish it was my wife. Clink. Yeah. God, what <laughs> I wouldn't give. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> oh, but strong, Dan. It's a f***ing old fashioned. It's, it's, you know it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've had an old fashioned before and it was, it was right. less we didn't, tolerable. We didn't no, smash any cherries. We didn't, you know. It's fine. The cherries would have been nice. It's not, no, it's not my cup. Why would the Why would the cherries not be nice? I can't do that. All right, here, no, just taste I, mine, and I'm not going to do the turn. I think yeah, no, there's no point. Matter. And there's significantly less ice in mine, which is probably That's a problem. Nice. I thought it, I thought it's fine. It's kind of you know. I think that I put too much of the uh, the second one in because it was loose. The one where I shot all over it. Oh no, that that's, that's good. Made up words. They take exactly the same because I'm a brilliant coach. All right. All right. Go. Okay, so I won. Actually, I'm gonna give that one to Hunter. Ah! Why? I love it. I don't know. I He's just it. such a charming piece of shit. Oh, that doesn't count. It's based off of the product. Mm, uh, bartending oh. is 50% ah. charm. Oh, it's creepy as shit. The the cartoons with like yeah. that stuff, but it's it's like the best way. Like mm. I think it's not like hard to watch. I think some stuff is like hard to watch, but even like watching with the Melvin one where that like earworm was like going inside mm -hmm. and out. It was like it's just fun. Yeah, it's fun, and I think a lot of people enjoy it. Obviously, enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, people do. I think that you can present something that's horrible in a very fun way and yeah. realize that it's. Like we're, we're, this is a fantasy kind yeah. of thing. It's kind of like if you like watch like Terrifier two. Yes. No one's idolizing the idea of murdering someone and cutting him up, but in terms of like sitting in this movie theater, it's ridiculous. It's how ridiculous mm -hmm. you can be, and I think that's so fun. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I th I really enjoyed that. The Terrifiers. That's well, great. Yeah. I think they're fun. So fun. Yeah. No, Why not? If I go into them, you pay twelve bucks to go see like insane. Yeah. Practical like, I visual effects that and stuff. Movie. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. No, I'm, so many movies now are very forgettable, or I regret it. But I don't know. What, with horror movies in general, obviously you draw from those. Mm. So did you grow up watching those or was that mm -hmm. like later? You no, I've always been pretty fascinated with them. I yeah. think that like it was always just something where I felt like I always was just interested in that genre. I, I, it's like, especially like horror films that are great dramas. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. when, I, when I watched like The Exorcism when I was a kid. Yeah. People, there's... The kind of audience that I f***ing hate where they're just like, listen, you know, I don't really watch movies past 1995 because they get old and boring. Right. But the exorcism, it's not that it's necessarily like scary. I mean, I bet it was very scary back then, but it was yeah. like, it's like just a beautiful drama. Yeah. About like faith. Yeah. You know, it's like, even as a kid, I was like, this is just like, I think that you might not be able to comprehend it now, but I think that it 
is something when you see a movie that look, that's like that good, mm-hmm. it just stays with you. Yeah, absolutely. and I just and I really enjoy telling like good narrative stories, but they you have horror as a, uh, a, a an aesthetic. Yeah, you're absolutely. able to be more fantastical and do these things that are crazy and go into darker places and do things um, in a really fun way. So I've yeah. always just found horror to be just really really fun. But yeah, yeah, really, really just moving stories with like things that are just like so left turn or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the writing is like the most Mm -hmm. impressive part for me. Or like I love when I can watch a horror movie and I don't know where it's gonna go because I feel like that happens not a lot, especially Mm -hmm. nowadays. So like um, uh, Talk To Me was like one of the newer ones that I was like, oh wow. like It's brilliant. Just well thought out, it was different and yeah. I just can't believe that it's like a first theatrical movie. Yeah. And it's that well around. I mean, I, I know Michael and Danny, they like, they have been making shit forever. Right. But still, it's like, that's just that, that's like, I think I can confidently say, besides like Bo Burnham in eighth grade, because I like that movie too. But oh, yeah, totally. I think in terms of like YouTuber horror movie thing, I think that they showed that it's like that bridge can be crossed yeah, kind of thing. which is so cool. Mm-hmm. I think that's awesome. And like, I mean... I walked around your house today and I really think you should shoot something in there. <laughs> that would be nice. I think you should make yeah. a horror movie in that house. It would be cool. And then you'll be the next one. I've been wanting to. Like I've, I've been wanting to make like a very <laughs> simple thing. I've been trying to think of like just really simple, simple ideas that could be yeah, fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the best way to go about it. Like, for, I mean, I'm pretty... I, well, yeah, like we want to do like a found footage thing. What just is the... Have you released publicly what it's about and stuff? No, no, is no. Is out there? Not yet? No, nothing. Nothing mm. really. And I, I don't think I will, mm. but I can tell you later. But, yeah, um, that's fine. You guys have to wait. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's found footage and it'll, it'll revolve around content I have made in terms of ghost hunting. Mm. Um, and then it, some stuff's going to happen that people won't <laughs> expect. Might be a little twist and turn maybe, here and there. Maybe some M. Night Shyamalan shit going maybe on. Maybe some enemies become friends. Maybe some friends become enemies. <laughs> maybe somebody dies. Maybe somebody doesn't. Maybe somebody uh, maybe yeah, gets murdered. Somebody comes back from the dead. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to do something simple like, I wanted to do this one where this guy meets it, like this old buddy he hasn't seen since he moved out of town. Okay. And he's like, you got to come out to the house, man. You got to see it. The land looks great. My, yeah. You know, whatever. He's like, okay. They come out there and he's like, oh my God, your house is beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he's like, thanks. He's like, do you got any problems with cats? And he's like, no, no, it's, that's fine. And like, you see some animals run by. Okay. And he sits down. I wanted to have this guy in like, what the f is those fully green suits? Oh. It's a green suit. The green suits. Yeah, but isn't it called something? I thought it was called something specifically. Uh, it might uh, morph, be. Morph. A morph suit. Morph suit. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I want to have like, about. a morph suit uh-huh. that's black and they have this like mask. This guy has this mask and it's like comprised of like, eight different cats' heads sewn together to okay. make like a human mask, whatever. Yeah. And he like crawls up on the guy's lap and he's like petting him. <gasps> and he's like, so like, what brought you back and stuff? And he's like, what the f-? Like, what is, and like make like a weird thriller about this guy who definitely just like, <laughs> it's like this like weird, I guess like he's been not brainwashing, but like some like weird Stockholm syndrome shit of like this cat's in there and he's like purring on his lap and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to do it to where he, the, his friend who comes in, he's gonna make him his dog. Okay, so this kind of reminds me of your Garfield thing mm-hmm. that you did. Okay, so is it kind of like you drew from that a little bit? Because I yeah, watched like, that and I was like, this would be such a good that thing. and like I don't know, like weird shit. Just There's actually general. this also like pagan weird. I was gonna shit say like that, yeah. folklore, pagan, mm-hmm. all that shit. That's kind of what we're playing on. That's the only thing I can say maybe uh, with the. Um, yeah, people are like, I know. <laughs> I just want to tell you everyone what I can't. <laughs> Everyone's like, I know exactly what it is. Don't even make it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. I swear you don't. <laughs> but no, I love that shit. Or like, yeah, the like biblical stuff. Because mm-hmm. that's what scares me. Because I think you were saying, we were hanging out last night, and you were saying um, that you grew up Christian? Or was it Christian? Or did you grow up religious at all or in that area? Not like not not really, but it's just like you're in the Bible Belt, so it's just kind of like assumed. Or okay, whatever. you know what I mean, that yeah. kind of thing. So you didn't you didn't go to church or anything as a kid. I didn't go really. to church, but it's just like shit where it's just people just like weird like rules that aren't written out where it's like you don't talk about that, you don't do this, yeah, or whatever. Like, but don't I think say like the Lord's name in vain. just like even just a, everything that's around you, like churches, old kind of thing, it's just like so embedded into the everyday culture that you're in. Yeah. So I think that like. Like religious shit, especially like I remember, like God, dude, what, like 2008, whenever Paranormal Activity came out. Oh God, when I was yeah. younger, 
I mean, like that. I thought that that was like real, yeah, just because. Oh, so did I. Because then people, it's <laughs> up. You talk to your grandma about it. You're like, I saw such a scary movie. She's like, it's real. Yeah. Oh, that's my parents. She like that. Uh huh. Unbelievable. Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, but like a ghost, like a demon can't do it. She's like, yeah, yeah actually, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. actually, yeah, it can. Yeah. If It'll there's a god, you. there's a devil. Exactly. Oh yeah. No. Way. And you're bad. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> yeah. You're probably gonna be one of yeah. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a little piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. So Anyways. So, all right. I'm, you want, <laughs> want some, some pie? cookie? Yeah, exactly. You want a pie? Yeah. No, that was literally, that was, that's exactly how I grew up. Except I was like in the church and like doing all that stuff. So yeah, so like even. Really mm-hmm. embedded in me. So, and it's weird. I don't not believe it, but I'm just, I was so force fed it that I, it kind of drew me out. And I was like. It's impossible to have it be against your genetic code. But then it in you. Yeah. And then you're just like, wait. And then I do like ghost hunting shit where I just mm. put myself and then I just mock everything and then something weird happens and I'm like, oh wait. So like part of me is, I, I'd i say a good, a good part of me is like, I feel like that stuff could be real. So then that's the stuff that scares me the most. I'm a huge and I'm just like, I'm not gonna, gonna not say it's not real. Yeah, that yeah that's pretty much it. A coward, like, I'm a coward. I feel like, <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I think that's like open-minded. I feel like people that are like, it's absolutely not real. I don't think it, then I, I feel like it's a little closed-minded. I feel like smart people can I look at all of, the facets. I would be surprised if people that, if you grew up in like, not in like a Bible Belt kind of situation thing. Yeah. I could see how it'd be really easy to be like, Just like you're, that's yeah. fucking stupid. You're insane. Yeah. 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 It depends on how you grow up, Because I, I think even if you didn't believe any of that stuff when you grew up, I just, it's like, it's just, it's just around you. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a, it's, I guess. I find it interesting, though. Like, it, stuff I didn't grow around, like other people's religions or what they believe in or the pagan ju- stuff. Is it just or, paranormal stuff here? Or are you big into, like, all sorts of, like, are you, are, are you like, a big, like, UFO person? I, 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 I haven't been, like, super into that. I mean, now it's just, like, they're just, like, yeah, there's aliens. And I'm just, like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I mean, there's a whole f- universe out there. That just makes sense to me. I don't know. That's also why I'm like not very fascinated by it. That, that's that, no, that's you know genuinely I mean? I'm me. Like, I'm just like, I'm like yeah. Why the f- would you come here? Of all places, you can fly around anywhere. Yeah. And, you're, and I'm like, maybe there's an invisible one in the room with us hanging out. Sure, great. I don't know. Also, I don't, know. I don't, also don't like the idea that with aliens. One thing that pisses me off with aliens is like you're flying around. You just never just once just be like, what's up? Right? How the f- has that never happened? Yeah, why are you just probing people's I, asses? I, I, in there, yeah, there's never been an alien that's walked into like a Denny's. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah. He's like walked in and people were like, "What's right? going on?" Like He's like, "Who?" Oh. He like runs rogue. out. I, I think that people like to associate with it's like, "Well, they're so high intelligence that yeah, that's, they're observing." Yeah. But I'm like, imagine like, think about like all the people that go into like a zoo. I know. And they're like looking at it, and like all the people that right. are like human beings that are slapping <laughs> yeah. on the glass. We're so dumb. Now. Yeah. <laughs> we're apes, man. Yeah. <laughs> with mortgages, it's just yeah. No, I yeah. I'm the same with the alien stuff. It's interesting, I guess, but I've never. Like I like sci-fi movies, love Alien. Like I, th- I think those are great horror oh, movies definitely. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm, I think, thinking that there's some being or something that created all of us, and that it's just way bigger than all of us. And like thinking that there's an extra plane of existence, like with ghosts or that kind of thing, where that could exist, is much more interesting to me. Yeah, I think there's something too with ghosts that feels weird. That's just like humans are just so evil on their own so mm-hmm. not to be like to be a interdimensional human yeah. feels so weird right yeah like a bad one or yeah, something yeah exactly yeah versus an alien i'm just like i don't know you did yeah <laughs> i don't know what you're about you know what I, mean? I mean they don't seem to be doing anything they look bad. weird but i'm like you yeah. know, what do you do if that's what they look like I yeah maybe they can morph i know i just think maybe they're people i don't know a lot of theories but i'm more with the paranormal stuff mm. that stuff's more interesting to me even like just watching it So we're going to do a mezcal sour. So Ooh. we're going to add double strain and we're going to be adding dry shaking okay. so to emulsify the eggs. Okay. Oh, so no oh. ice. Is that what no ice dry means? Yet. So we're going to yeah, no, so we're going to shake it dry and then shake it wet. That's what I do. That's what she said. That's that's what I said. That's what he said. That's what somebody else said. I don't really know. And uh, right. we're going to be putting them in coops. Coop glasses. Coop. <laughs> so we're going to be putting the egg white in our shaker tins. So the yolk, you're just going to throw the yolk back and forth. Well, I know how to do that, Dad. Right. Okay. I just mean. I just don't where trust do we that discard. Discard. I mean, well, we I, got, I actually just killed that shit. I did, did too. You? Wow. Okay. I've been around an egg or two. Egg. 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 
Hey, what what happened if a little bit of yolk got in? <laughs> you fail. Should I restart? Yeah. Also think, uh, yeah, I think too with um, a lot of stuff. Like one thing I think is really interesting with religious stuff is just um, fanatics of any kind. Mm -hmm. So like if you like watch a movie about like culture, like a pagan thing, it's like people that are doing these like unknown practices or rituals and stuff, and you have so much belief that this thing is real, and you're following this thing to, you know, the ends of the earth, yep. whatever, you're killing people, you're doing whatever. Yeah. That's, I think that's just kind of cool. I think it's insanely cool. Like the, I do deep dives now on YouTube as well. Um, just, and I've been doing, I've done a couple now on cults. I just think they're so fascinating. How Always people fascinating. go into them and how they can just envelop themselves. Which favorite yeah, cult? Is in a, oh. Right now I'm, I'm researching um, the Ant Hill Kids, which I had not heard of before. And I think it's, Really fascinating. But I'd have to say Jim Jones. Jim Jones is Jim Jones? pretty up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's probably one of my favorite cult leaders, I mm -hmm. guess. I know he's the most basic one, but can you be a basic can you be a basic basic cult leader? <laughs> yeah, Jim's a bit samey. <laughs> Children um, of God was like, okay, yeah, sex cult, whatever. Like, whatever. But I mean, I don't know. I just think it's crazy how he moved that many people to, it's just all that's just crazy to me mm -hmm. but um I, what's your favorite cult i think just heaven's gate just because i think no one's ever done graphic design better true the heaven's gate I gotta love that. like logo that's is like goes so hard it's unbelievable so true. especially the one where it's like i have the shirt the it's name. like this this actually it's the same people who did this shirt. oh my god that's so sick you know who that's that is cool. this is the guy Heimer? Marheimer, this is the guy who did the killdozer in the town. Oh, he got shit. pissed off yes, and yes, destroyed yes. the town. It's a memorial shirt to him. Oh my god, but that's the, awesome! But the same people who did this shirt did the Heaven's Gate thing, and they have like the also the they used to have this brochure, and it was like the lamest looking alien, and it just says like, "What if they're right?" And I'm like, "That's Dude, awesome. That's that's really that's really, true, really solid. Yeah, really solid. their whole story was pretty. It's pretty. Cool. It's probably the coolest." what they thought or what he made them think what was going to happen. It's long. I mean, it's like a long, long thing. I don't know. It's just, it's like very typical cult stuff, but it's, it uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just interesting. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I find cult time. leaders especially very interesting. I mean, so many of them are just extremely similar. It's one of those ones too, where it's like, it doesn't feel like the cult leaders were malicious. I just think they were mentally unwell also versus like Jim Jones is just insane and he's it, just a bad guy. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I think that's why. I, I, don't right. like I don't like he's, him. I don't like him. I just think he's a he's, bad boy. I like he's, him. Mm. He's, he, <laughs> he's like the Ted Bundy of serial killers. You know what pissed me off too is he didn't even like take the syringe either, or he didn't like drink the Kool Aid either. He shot himself. I know. I hated that. That's I know. I was gonna drink the Kool Aid, right? Man. I know. And it wasn't even Kool Aid. It wasn't Kool Aid. Was no. it Rite Aid? What it was, was it? No, it wasn't. A Flavor Aid. Flavor Aid. It was Flavor Aid. Yeah, so they got that wrong, but. Uh, yeah, it's but, just easier and then to with say the politician coming in and going, and then they all oh, I mean, it's an amazing, yeah, the plane. insane. It's just an interesting story. There's so many great. There's the, the, that's like a really good read too. They have like a lot of documentaries and stuff, but man, they those do. books of reading, yeah, the yeah. Jonestown stuff and yeah. going over that, insane. I know. I'll do a deep dive eventually on it. But it's I'm weird. Just like, Did he like develop a speech impediment mm -hmm. too? Whenever he like because like the last couple of days he's like kind of sound like Jay Leno. Yeah. No, he did. He did. And then he's he like, always wears right, sunglasses. Time to get out of here. Yeah. He what? Yeah, he did. Literally, though. No, like, that's it, what he sounds er, like. Earlier services, he's like, exactly. yeah, everyone's okay. welcome into mm -hmm. the kingdom. Because he was really big into, like, uh, equality. Yes. Especially, yeah, with, like, so he had a lot of... Uh, African-American, mm -hmm. white people. Stuff and bringing people together. But yeah, yeah at the end, he's just like, go little now little. into the night. It's, it's, it's time to leave. That's, yeah. Time to get out of here. That's what he's... Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. It's crazy. It's really good. So we're going to do an ounce of acid, but we're going to do both lemon and lime. So half an ounce of each. Wait. You guys go. Oh, I see. I see. Half you said an half, half, half an ounce of each. Of each. Okay. So it'll yeah, be you said that really confusingly. All right. What's next? We'll be doing three quarters of an ounce of agave syrup. Got it. Let's see how he does. Yes, chef. Pressure. Oh. This should have been taken off. Before. Oh. Wait, three quarters. Oh no, I already forgot. Now, Dan, is this one we dry shake? No, we have to put in the alcohol. Oh, okay. No, we put it last because. What alcohol? You this might one? up the yep. egg. Yep. We'll Got it. put an ounce and a half of mezcal. Ounce and a half. Oh, mm -hmm. that's just a pot. All right, so that's to the line, yeah? Wait. To, yeah. The t to the... Yeah, to the line. To the t to the line, yeah. It's still the line. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Holy Wait, shit! Hold up, what? She's getting good. Oh, shit. Wait, she's getting real good. Ounce and a half? Yeah. This is just an ounce to the line. Yeah. And then I did it to the half. That, that's an ounce and a half right there. You can read the line. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I thought that was a half right there. Why does mine say that? Oh, 
You're reusing the little side. Okay, yeah, you're good. Yeah, because there's a half on you're that side. You're just using sir. the little side. Dude. Yeah, Jeez, bitch. Guys, Either side. I'm gonna do the same as you because I don't trust Dan now. Right. <laughs> no. I've, wait, I lost my faith and. <laughs> okay, these are gonna. So what do you, you mean? Use, you use the big side and then the little side. Yeah, because yeah, because this, ounce is, and this a half. is an ounce up here. That's one ounce, and then the other is. A ounce and a half. And then a half. You guys read that? It says an ounce and a half right there. No, it says a half. You said an ounce and a half, and this is half an ounce, and so I did one ounce and then half an ounce. <laughs> what the. Are Which line saying? did you go to point to it? The top, that only line? How many that people line? does it, it take? an ounce and a half. <laughs> to figure out. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, it it is. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I thought that was an ounce. Well. So, well, now it has two ounces. We both thought that, so you're not a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to teach you how to read. <laughs> it's really small. That's a part of the teacher I don't teacher have my arc, glasses I on. I can't see. Right? Also, the, also the, the red light does not I help the, the, no, the tin cup. It doesn't. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna dry shake now. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Almost came off. <laughs> you really gotta hold it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just felt it try to come up. Yeah. yeah. See. I, I just wow. feel like you're That's mining. You're good. You're good. Oh! Cut it out. It's pretty. It's I pretty. Hand <laughs> use. What's that? Were you a cheerleader? No. Uh, I don't know. Creepy, creepy that things. The, smile. The creepy things. The old weirdo asks you. Uh, the waitress at a bar. They're, they have Were you to, a cheerleader? They have, have to smile dance? when they dance. Were you're you not, a cheerleader? They have to smile. I got to smile. No, I do a lot please. of things. Double what? Double strength. It's so f***ing slippery. Like this? Yes. Don't. What? Hover above don't it. Go to the bottom. Why? Because it's gonna fill with the f***ing drink. Yeah, you obviously. guys are real pieces of work. You know? <laughs> You're not double straining. Oh. Yes! Wait, double str- Oh, f <laughs> dude! <laughs> You're on the top of it! I still got some left. First, too much alcohol. <laughs> and then she can't listen. Dude. Yes! God. Dude, you didn't say that to me. You I said, said it. it. Hit. Roll the tape. Oh, double strain. It's so f***ing slippery. Are you about to make a- Nope. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm doing, dude. That looks like stringy vomit. This yeah, her hair's getting in it, so that's probably not gonna taste too good. This is going uh, about as how I anticipated. Bitch, what the f is that? Fireball. What, what is that? I Look mean, at she, yours. She's that got higher chicken More pops? contrast. More contrast. See how I went light to I dark? Like, I like yeah, and she spiraled it. Uh -huh. A little hard. That looks like shit. Looks like somebody bled in that. <laughs> oh, good. That's that, that's it. What? What is that? That's beautiful. You can't say that's not. Right, they do look like tiny hearts. Thank you. Fuck. That's what I was going for. Oh, it, bitch, that's strong. Okay. That's good though. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of nice. I like that aftertaste. All right, here's. It literally tastes like fire somehow. Oh, Which is applicable. For I know, my I know, I know. I understand. I did, I did. Which a is ring applicable for my fireball. That's, that's just a ring of fire, heart fire. No, it's not. That's just it's. It's still good, by the way. Even though I'm drinking it. I mean, not as good as mine, but it's fine. <laughs> the illiterate one. Let's go. Oh my God! Yeah! Don't learn how to read, kids. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't learn how to read and drink excessively. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> this is actually an interesting drink, though. Right? It is. I don't mind it. What do you, what's your Instagram again? And something vulgar, colorfully vulgar. That's Go to at colorfully that. vulgar. Yeah, that's colorfully that's that. <laughs> Go follow his Instagram. You like voice all of your. I most, voice a lot of them. Yeah. Most of your characters. Mm. That's awesome. I'm that's such a voice that's, acting. That's why there's like, they all sound like three people. Pretty you much. really don't. You have yeah. like range. You have, I, it's good. It's mm. good. Like I know that you voice them, so I'm aware of it. But mm. like somebody looking in, I, I feel like you, you differentiate enough. Okay. Or it's like, it's good. Oh, it's good. Not that my opinion it. means shit. But. No, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad it comes off that way. Because totally. yeah, usually it's like, uh, we, I, I'm running a day late. I need to just, and it's like one takes of everything. And it's like, cool, get sure, it off. Like, do a let's voice. make a radio play real quick. And then, yeah. <laughs> do you do, um, like act a lot of different accents or anything like that? Cause I know you usually just do the if American accent. If I do, they're accent. probably very off. Yeah. If anything, that's just usually the comedy of it. Of like, yeah. usually it's like, it does not sound anything like anybody, like which also like people a... are like, dude, you rolled them. And I'm like, <laughs> it's mostly just because I'm, I can, I'm not, I'm not talented Don't enough actor. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Did you do any of that in school or anything, or was that mm -hmm. is that just like self? Yeah, just self, just doing it over time. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's probably just hard to find. I think voice acting a lot of the time with acting in general, I think it's just confidence and like knowing how to commit to a bit. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. People get too in their own head about yeah. shit. 
I agree. This year's when they're sitting there, it's like act like a like a timid. You're like, oh, oh, oh. You're like yeah, it's way too much. Yeah, just way overdoing it. Yeah, or, yeah just like yeah, we're just beginning. Which way has too its place head. sometimes, but like. Yeah, I think. And then because you turn around so quick, I'm assuming it's kind of hard to find other people to do it. It is. Yeah. yeah. And also, too, it's just like, God damn, like trying to get people to. Holy. There's so many times where I'm just like, I'd love for you to do a voice. Sounds great. And then like. She never does it. And like, all right, here's the script. Can you do the lines? And they, they're like two weeks late. What the. Or something like, sorry, it took me so long. And you're like, I'll never do this like shit again. Creators or other people? Mostly creators. Yeah, they're always like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also, there's creators who are like, God damn, dude, like Max Mofo. Yeah. Um, I love him. He's like legitimately one of the nicest people I've ever talked to, but he's been around forever. Yeah. And he has like the worst recording setup. Oh, shit. Like, it's like he's like in a fucking chapel recording, <laughs> screaming his <laughs> big Aussie yeah. ass up. Yeah. It's like so much. I'm like, I told him, like, could you th and just throw like a pillow yeah, behind you? Yeah, something. Get in throw the closet. Throw a pillow behind Yeah, I'm like, just doing that. I can't, you know, that kind of thing. Oh I don't want to, whatever. It's more British, but I don't know. The, 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 it's like, it, it's, it's, like it's, it's mostly Greg. that. Yeah, I did it. Old Greg. Like, oh, old yeah. Greg. That's yeah. so funny. I love that shit. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. You just brought me back. Yeah, that's fair. The that's mighty boosh. Mm -hmm. If you ever need a female voice, I'm all... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know you're not doing the animation right now, but are you, you're working on doing your just original stuff in the future or I mean I'm done to do parody stuff too I just like yeah. I'm so not in love with doing the cartoons that I'm trying to find a place where I'm like I think I've even like the, the 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 question or the answer to what do you want to make has become skewed and yeah. it's, it's a lie within itself yeah that's fair um so I think creatively I'm just trying to be like what the do I actually want to spend my time and like what do I want to make has become the kind of that's like the path I'm on right now. Yeah, yeah, mm. just figuring it out. I don't think there's like things too. It's gonna be a trial and error thing, but I think like I would rather do it when I don't have this like crazy deadline that I set for myself yeah. and stuff. And and also too, I've like it, it's gonna be an interesting transitional period because my audience does like these things. Sure. But I need to show like this other stuff's cool too. Absolutely. Um, Diversifying is like so. That's like the biggest thing. It's hard. Whenever you do the general stuff, you get into a lot of reactor fan bases yeah. and you get a lot of comments where I'm always grateful. Like I'm always grateful that people watch my stuff or whatever. I know I did the XQC thing, but yeah. he was, I, I think there's a difference between like reacting and just stealing. Um, uh, yeah. But the, uh, it just, it gets, it got on my skin. It kept getting on my skin with people being like, I can't wait to see this person react to this. And you're just Absolutely. like, are you not watching it yourself? Absolutely. So it's like, or if they're not adding any value to it. Yeah. At and all. usually it's overreactions too. And yeah. people overreacting because they want to have the video be interesting or whatever. So it feels, it makes you feel like, what I'm making even more is even more disingenuine. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like not legitimate and everything. And I'm like, I'm having this, and these people like scream and do it like, like, reacting in a crazy way and it's yeah, yeah you, you kind of get lost in the process no absolutely yeah. no i agree completely yeah with i mean yeah with me I'm, I mean, I'm always trying to figure it out like i see creators like you and you have like this whole setup and it's fucking awesome and it inspires me but it's also nice to hear the way other creators are like yeah i mean i'm still trying to figure it out or like no one knows what like, done. that's what i've kind of figured out and yeah. it's it's like kind of nice to hear almost like it's good to have some sort of plan but i'm really just like taking it day by day and trying to do stuff that i enjoy because i do see people just getting burnt out or like overwhelmed with what they do and i've been there even though it's mm -hmm. only been like a few years but like yeah even like this i'm like i'm gonna force myself to get out meet new people it's good though and meet creators that i think are awesome and yeah i mean i don't know comfort brings stagnation it does. is the biggest thing if Absolutely. any big creators are out there they're probably very wealthy and very comfortable, yeah. and they probably don't make shit that's very entertaining, in my opinion. Yeah. I think it's just a, a continuous question of what am I doing to make this fun to watch? And also, is it like, are you still having fun making the things? If yeah. you're not having fun making the things, it's like that's, it's not because, in my opinion, it's never because, well, I've been doing this for so long, I think it's mm -hmm. because the stuff you're doing is inherently boring. Yeah, you don't like it anymore. You gotta challenge yourself, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, and I think people, it's just, people, Viewers see that shit too. You they know? do. And it becomes a thing too where people get into a space where viewers are, it's your comfort thing. Yeah. I've been watching this person for seven years. Yeah. I watch it every Thursday, yeah. whatever. So people, there's people that 
still enjoy the thing. And just because people are making this content doesn't mean they can't make good stuff. But I think the longer that you sit in stagnation, the 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 more the or, or like you lose the ability to find shit to say. Yeah, absolutely. Because your your brain crystallizes. That's mm-hmm. actually an interesting thing too. I think whenever you turn thirty, around our age, yeah, uh-oh, <laughs> shit, your brain goes from when you're younger. Young people always have are always on the cusp of shit because your brain is in a is in a space of exploring. Yeah, and you're able to like come to these interesting conclusions. Versus whenever you hit about thirty, your brain starts to like crystallize and you become more of a teacher. Right. That's why we get stuck at like what music we like. Which is also yeah, and also why like usually people start. S- when they start making shit, it sucks. Yeah. They have nothing more to say, really, right. all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to try to do our best, I guess, while our brains I mean, it's are inevitable, crystallizing. You know? yeah. It kind of is. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, especially when you've been doing it for But I think long. it's just, it's, do you, you, you have to push yourself out of those things. You do. Which is also another reason, too. It's like, I could probably do the parody thing and get to, you know, X amount of subscribers and stuff, but I think, like, after a while, it would just be like, this is, like, boring, or this is... You know, and I've, I mean, I've, for years, I've had people be like, it's the same thing, blah, blah, oh, blah, really? over and over. So I know people have already felt that before, but I think for myself, even, I was like, I think it's time to figure out what the fuck are we going to do differently. Yeah. doesn't mean fair. you have to reinvent the wheel. No, you like, don't. I mean, that's kind of impossible you know. almost, mm-hmm. especially in the YouTube space or whatever, but like make it your own, which you do. Like even on the second channel, like your intros that you have are like with the sets and that's just, it's, it's different which mm. is really cool and you can make it your own and you clearly take like a lot of a lot of pride in what you do which is cool yeah. and people can see that like i can see it as a viewer um so i, I think that's great i love youtube content i think i'm yeah. just at a place where i'm like just what can you do differently with it yeah. i don't i'm not trying to like make anything that's above anybody else's content i think yeah. i'm just at a place where i'm like if you're gonna make a video about eating tv dinners how do yeah. you make it fun yeah Hundred percent. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're going to continue with the second channel for now, and then eventually yeah. come yeah. back to the. Yeah, first I mean, like, there's already stuff being made on the main channel. It's just cool. like taking time. Yeah. I think like letting being able to like make and fail right now, yeah. and not publicly, because a big part of like the channel too is being like, oh god, if this tune doesn't get six million subs, I'm or six million views, I'm a loser. Right. Blah blah blah. Right. And I get my head about it. Yeah. Versus being able to make stuff and just be like, that's an in- this is interesting. I think it could be better this way and actually have time to like make, I mean, make art. Basically. Yeah, absolutely. Versus absolutely. making a product that's supposed to be consumed for money and stuff. Because that's what this, the, by Pop Me Channel, it's, it's, that's supposed to be the, that's my uh, job. That's yeah. like my business where I'm like, this is totally. where we make money. Yeah, totally. So Whereas this, like, you could just like relax a little mm-hmm. bit and have fun with it. Yeah. And you can tell. You can, and I feel like your audience is like super pumped about it. Like, I think, I think you, so. you've been behind the camera more so for most of your career, mm-hmm. if I'm right. Yeah, definitely. And now they actually get to meet you and see you. Mm-hmm. And it, I think that's really cool. It's been fun. Yeah. And I think, too, it's just we've been doing some stuff, too, where I think, like, even already we're trying to introduce even, like, animation into um, the live action aspect of things mm-hmm. and just trying to, I think, just trying to put a concerted effort into not making yeah. sure that, like, I think that we're trying to make sure that like, people have a healthy work to life ratio with stuff like our team yeah but i think we're also not trying to just like slack off yeah or something like yeah. I think we're trying to pretty proactively be like are we are we actually are we trying here yeah you know yeah so because it, it just helps me a bit more because at least if like if you failed at least the video sucked yeah, you know what i mean for sure you, there's not a thing where it's like <laughs> i think this video is good so we just good. didn't like we just didn't have the I like the manpower or what? Like lying yeah. to yourself. Yeah, there's you know no I mean? excuses. It's like if now can, we put if, her all into yeah, it. Yeah, if I can go in being like we tried, and if you failed, you're just like, well, what do you, you get yeah. on the next one? You know? Exactly. That that's that's easier to to sleep on. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, and I mean, you know, there's always. I mean, I know that there's definitely fluff content for like me and a lot of other creators. There's like some oh, things sure. where you need to fill in the gaps, and sure. you're just like, I ha- I don't have this substantial idea, or I can't mm. do this, so you need to kind of fill it in with content that that's the exactly what likes. That's a, yeah that's exactly the thing I, that but then you try to make it you know s- something that you're somewhat proud of in, in some way or another yeah i appreciate so, that thing, yeah. yeah no you've like inspired me and so many other people that i've talked to they're like oh that's sick like a lot of people are pumped that i'm doing this and everybody had a bunch of questions which i don't know if i asked or didn't but <laughs> yeah i don't know i think the only thing i want to say or i would say, say is it, that please. uh i guess if you're going into 
content creation or doing thing. It's not a competition. Yeah. I think it's a big thing. It is. And, you know, the, the Theodore Roosevelt quote, the envy is the thief of joy. It is. It is. And I found... He's a smart man. Yeah. I think coming into the space, for me at least, since it wasn't intentional to begin with, mm. I've kind of just gone about it like, I'm just lucky to be here. I know I'm not as good as a lot of other people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I, trying my best. I think <laughs> there's there's no way to get around self-criticism and all that kind of no, stuff. But I think numbers. like Let... Uh, let other people's success and other people's like um, energy fuel your own kind of creativity. I think mm-hmm. is a big thing. Yeah, I just think but these things. Positive. If you come here and you're like stoked about the sets and stuff, I think that yeah. like it's just great. I love going to seeing anybody's thing, even like going down to see Caleb and stuff. It's totally. just fun seeing the energy and stuff and putting that into your own stuff. So oh yeah, biggest thing. It's a, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. No. Yeah. It's uh, I'm inspired. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, everybody knows who you are, Meat Canyon, Papa Meat. Mm-hmm. So you're po- posting on the Papa Meat channel right now, but there's oh, going to yeah. be exciting stuff on Meat Canyon. Yeah, in time. Soon. You can follow if you want. In due time. Yeah. You should subscribe. If you want to. So I appreciate it, and I appreciate you doing this. Of and course. And showing me around your property. Show me your donkey. Because I was dope. But she's yeah. a good girl. She is. The donkey. Jelly. <laughs> well. she's, a, she's a good one. <laughs>